What is up YouTube? Dominic here with Nintendo and Time and this is uh, gonna be a pickups video. So last time we filmed the video was about three months ago, it w which was uh, around May, which was my birthday. And I got some birthday gifts to show off and I got some general pickups. So uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and get started. First off was a gift I got from uh, my friends Julie and Miguel. This is a Shovel Knight for the Wii U. And uh, this is a Shovel Knight in the retail box. So I've never played this game ever. I know it's been on like a million systems, but uh, Wii U is one of my favorite systems, the most underrated system. And uh, this game actually supports Amiibo functionality. They made a Shovel Knight Amiibo first, non-Nintendo to have their own Amiibo. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, my first impressions is like picking up the box, it has some weight to it. And I think that's because from what I've heard online that it comes with the instruction manual that it's like a full-on like 20 page manual or something It has it's colored and games nowadays do not come with manuals they come with like a little whatever paper this comes with an actual manual so i'm pretty excited people that love retro type of games like old mega man or metroid metroidvania type games are going to love this so i'm pretty excited to play this so shovel knight next up we have a game for the original wii called knights and this is a uh, developed by sega so I picked up this game from a store called Book Off, which is a Japanese chain that sells kind of like used books, used manga, games, movie, music, all kinds of stuff. And they have them here in California. So uh, whenever I see one around, uh, I have to stop by. So I stopped by and I seen this game for only a few bucks. And I uh, never played this series and uh, I've always been kind of interested in it. So uh, I thought I'd check it out. It's called Knights Journey of Dreams. You can build your own kind of dream town and you can visit dreams and visit your friends dream town. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I just like the art style. I mean, it's like, purple dreamlike so pretty dreamy so pretty excited to check this game out dreams <sighs> nice next up is uh it's a special edition of a wii u game and i wasn't originally gonna pick this up but once i seen it and it the condition it was in which was almost like super super mint condition i had to pick it up this is the xenoblade chronicles x special edition so this game is more of like an rpg style um it's like an action rpg you can walk around but you still rpg elements um this one has like pretty big focus on the mech so i'm super excited they call them do uh, scales uh, dolls in japan so i'm super excited to check this game out so uh i'm about i don't know 20 30 percent in xenoblade chronicles uh for the original wii so i was like you know what? i'm really enjoying it might as well pick this up i got it for a good price um and it's brand new and i can't wait to check it out uh it seems like it comes with an art book it comes with actual game and it comes with like a little usb it's like a mech design and it has like some of the soundtrack on the usb so i'm pretty excited soundtrack and uh, art book i'm down with that all right guys so um i'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what's in here all right so let's go ahead and open this thing let's see what this comes with here i'm getting sweaty just looking at this stuff all right so first off holy crap this is nice this is the art book, and one thing about Xenoblade Chronicles is it has really nice art. And uh, it looks like there's character art, there's art of the beautiful environments, of the characters. There's even some concept art in here. So if you're into concept art, you can see that. There's full renders of the 3D models. Oh wow, there's sketches, preliminary sketches. Some really, really good art stuff here. And it's a good size, as you can tell, it's about the size of the box. This is like a legitimate art book right here. All right, let's see what else we got in here. There's some sort of plastic tray here let's see what this is oh wow this is a beautiful setup here check this out you get the actual game and this little setup with the usb right on the bottom that is cool get the wii u game and down here is the usb oh this has got some weight to it it feels like a, it's designed like a little mechanical like robot piece and it's usb with the soundtrack and it's really heavy that's cool and then you got the actual game here and under the game, there's something else. There is some sort of like lithograph or little art piece right here. That's pretty neat too. And it comes with a certificate of authentic. Authentic. It comes with a certificate of authenticity. So that's really cool. Pretty cool special edition, I would say. You get the art book. You get the game. You get the uh, little poster, and you get the USB. Right on. If you love open world RPG games with like no limit, check out Xenoblade Chronicles X. Super excited for this. This is another special edition of the game I'm excited about. So I have it here in the package. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of it real quick. Let's see. And ooh, it's tiny. So this is uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. So this is a game designed by Atlas and it features Fire Emblem characters and Fire Emblem uh, settings, I believe. And this is this plays more like a Persona type of game, more like a 
traditional RPG as opposed to a strategy RPG like Fire Emblem, but it's um, focused on Japanese pop. So there's like a, you play like an idol and you kind of have a persona of a pop idol and some of them look like Fire Emblem characters. So I'm pretty excited about this. This box is tiny. This is the box compared to the Xenoblade Chronicles Xbox. You can tell it's really tiny. It's about the size of a game actually. It's about the size of a regular game. So. So what does this come with? I'm not even sure to be honest. I just know it's a special edition and I had to pre-order it on Amazon. I had to. I believe it comes with like an art book and some stickers. So that's pretty cool. So you get the game, the art book and some stickers. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see what comes in this Fire Emblem Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE game. Um, let's see what's in here. So I got it opened up. First of all, it's green in the inside. That's pretty freaking cool. Let's see what comes in here. Okay, a lot more than what I thought. Okay, so we have the soundtrack. There it is. Then we have the art book, similar long way style. And see what we got in here. We have performances, we have lyrics, we have songs, we have box art even, we have weapon art, we have the inside um, accessories, we have uh, arenas, we have uh, environments, we have characters, we have drawings, we have 3D models, we have concept art. Oh, this is really, really cool. And there's a lot of information. Usually an art book is just an art book, but this has like a lot of little like info about certain characters and stuff. So that's pretty freaking cool. And then of course you get the uh, actual game right here. There it is. Learn the ropes of the idol life so you can become a, your own Japanese uh, idol. And then, yeah, that's what I thought. It comes with a little um, sticker sheet of some uh, characters from the game, I'm assuming. So it doesn't advertise that on the box. It says the game, the art book, and the soundtrack, but you also get a free sticker sheet. And then you get some, I'm not gonna show you guys, but it's a paper for some DLC. So that um, I can get some Millennium, Tokyo Millennium Collection DLC, Costume Set DLC, and Hunter Support Quest Pack DLC. So it comes with the, the whole freaking works. So there's that. All right, so for my birthday, uh, my sister Danielle, shout out to Danielle, uh, she gave me this giant like Yoshi figure. I don't know where she got it. Everything is, all the writing on this box is complete Japanese. So it seems pretty authentic to me. I mean, this is a, a DX Super Mario character Sofubi figure. And this thing is huge. This is not like an amiibo size. This is a giant, heavy Yoshi figure. And Yoshi's always been one of my favorite characters since Super Mario World. So yeah, super excited about that. Okay, next up, as you can tell, if you know me, I love freaking Amiibo. You can see Amiibo right behind me. And one Amiibo that I do not have, and this is a care one of my favorite characters of the Super Mario series, and I can't believe I don't have it, is the Peach Amiibo. This is an Amiibo I always freaking wanted, and I just never bought it because I thought it was kind of common before, so I was like, I'll get it later, I'll get it later. I was focusing on the rares when Amiibo first came out. So, uh, um, someone got this for me, thank you, for my birthday, I always wanted it. The only thing is, do I open it or do I not? I'm a collector, as you can tell, I don't like to open my amiibo, so, but I just really like how this amiibo looks, so I might actually open it, so. There's the peach amiibo. So the next thing I have here is a Nendoroid figure. This is Marth. This is um, from the mystery of the emblem Marth. Um, this is based off his older design, as you can tell, and if you don't know about uh, Nendoroid figures, they come with lots of, lots of different kind of like items that you can use and you can switch out you can even switch out the Marth's face if you want to new face you can put a new action you could it's posable it's really tiny but it's really a high quality figure and this is my first uh nendoroid figure that i've ever, ever had it's by good smile and they make all kinds of figures for pokemon nintendo uh mario series fire emblem all kinds of stuff so anime if you're into anime um so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm definitely gonna open this just because there's too many options you can do with the character itself. So I wanna open it and I wanna try the different poses and stuff. So super excited about that. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this Marth Nendoroid figure, number 567, new mystery of the Emblem Edition. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. I got this at a kind of like a, it was like a bazaar, like a trade show for gaming and uh, figures and sports memorabilia. It's called Frankincense. Um, check it out if you're in Southern California. Go ahead and Google that. All right, so let's go ahead and open this baby. First Nendoroid figure, let's see what we got here. So you open it and it's, it smells like cardboard. It's pretty freaking good smell, I like that smell. And then go ahead and pull these guys out. And oh wow, the box has like a little emblem in the back, straight in the middle. That's pretty neat. 
go ahead and toss that. And there we have the figure, boom. As you can see, you have the character, you have all the accessories, weapons, you have different arms to grab different weapons and different poses. And you also have a different face for him. So let's go ahead and, oh, and it comes with a base on the bottom too. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. There goes the base. Ah, all right. Oh, okay, all the weapons. Oh, let's get this Marth open. Oh my God, I'm afraid to touch it. All right, so this is the Marth Nendoroid figure. As you can tell, the size of my hand, it's about the size of your palm. Super detailed for such a tiny figure. And it comes with a different face right here. It comes with different weapons. It comes with little motions for the swords. It comes with different arms. And you could set this guy up in different ways. So that's really freaking exciting. I like that a lot. Okay, last up is a super, super rare. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to show this on camera because honestly, I'm, there's only one in the world of this amiibo. It's an amiibo. It was only one in the world. It was given to me directly from Reggie. He actually came on my birthday three years ago and he handed it to me personally and he said, there's only one like this, Dominic. We can't, don't show anyone, but I, uh, it's been enough time. I think I can show you guys. This is the super rare Shrek Amiibo straight out of the swamp directly to my hands. And this, um, Reggie was telling me you could scan this into Smash and you could actually unlock um, Shrek as a playable character and it's turning legal. So I'm pretty excited about that. So thank you, Reggie, for giving me the Shrek Amiibo. All right, so we have the uh, Shrek Amiibo. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Reggie told me it's super rare. I said, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. Just go ahead and pop this guy open. Go ahead and throw this box, throw that box away, throw this plastic away. And there it is. There's the Shrek uh, Amiibo. As you can tell, he has a very, very, very square head. And um, do not go in his swamp. He will kick you out. He has pose like that. He's very angry. And as you can tell, usually Amiibos have the scan in the bottom. This Amiibo has it on his big head, the Amiibo chip right here. So scan it into any game. You get him in Mario Kart, you can get him in Smash, you can get him in Animal Crossing, whatever you want. He's in your game. Shrek Amiibo. What are you doing in my swamp? All right, guys, so I got games, I got special editions, I got retro games, I got figures, I got Amiibo, I got a Shrek Amiibo. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this pickups video. If you played any of the games that I showed off, uh, let me know uh, if you like them, if you're good, if I need to know any tips before I get started. So until next time, guys, Nintendo in time.